the final colors to cover are unicorn on the right and left forward. There's a total of three, and you will probably see a uh, some parallels with previous unicorn provocations because they all tend to do the same thing. So from the right to the forward, we have two possibilities. One is a real attack, so a real attack, and the other one is a feint to do something else. And in both cases, we're targeting the uh, left side, left arm, the left hand. So we are in unicorn on the right. We can do one of two things here. We can either thrust to the hand holding the book, or we can cut to the hand holding the book. So I'm just transitioning from unicorn to Iron Gate using a left triangle stuff. As a person receiving this, if it is a thrust coming and we're simply going to change guards by bringing the right foot back on the traverse and trying to hit their hand or their arm with an under detail. So here they go for the hand, we're going to raise it up. Sorry. They're coming in with thrust. We raise the left hand and we cut to the exposed uh, part of the arm. If instead it's a cut to the cloak, um, hand, hand holding cloak, we're going to actually treat this as if it was a attack to the high line. So we're actually going to go into it. So changing guards to change the LA as well, just this time going forward into the attack and hit with a mandrito to the thigh. Alternatively, we could feint a thrust over the cloak to the face and then use a reversal to hit the hand. Uh, given how patterned the hand is, it will be very unpleasant for the person, so it's more to get them out of position to kind of make it hard for them to hold the cloak. I'm not going to be removing any hands this way because of how thick we're getting here, but the idea is that I'm going to feint this thrust and then really harass the front of the hand with a reverso. So we're here, feint that thrust and reversal to the hand. As the person receiving this, we're just going to feign a defense, coming back, and then come back forward with a input down to the chest. So essentially we're going to remove the target completely, and then come back once the blow has gone past center line. So that's it for right to forward. Left foot forward, we're going to do something kind of quite similar. We're going to Feign the Nimbrokata to over the cloak as they raise it, cut to the leg with a mandrito. So I want to do this thrust to have them raise their left hand, which exposes their leg. As a person responding to this, I need to raise my hand, and as they step, I'm going to do the exact same thing except I'm going to be aiming for the sword arm. So we go over the cloak, we raise the hand, opening up this leg, and we're going to step the right foot, follow my left, hitting the inside of the right arm. And that's it for all the provocations, encounters, for all the sword and cloak plays. The last thing that remains is the variation of the attacks, which we'll look at in future sessions.